See, this happened uh, almost uh, maybe about thirteen, fourteen years ago. I was in United States and uh, somebody was uh, looking at, you know, we were working together and somebody said, Sadhguru, every day people are typing out about one lakh people or hundred thousand people are typing out the word spirituality on the net. I said, is that so? Then what is it that they're searching for? Let's see. So we typed out spirituality. First thing that comes up is a spa in Mexico. Second, th second thing that comes up is a, a call girl in Northern California. She's using all that SOP, whatever, spiritual, 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 and she's coming up number two. I thought, this is a shame. When there is a tool like this that you can reach anybody in the world, when I say this, this is... this generation may not understand this, we must understand this is the first time in the history of humanity that you can sit here and talk to whoever you want, anywhere in the world. Never before this was ever possible. Many great beings have come, all right? Uh, when a Rama came, we don't know if he could really speak to anybody. I don't think he could really open up and speak to anyone, not even one probably. Maybe Hanuman. Then Krishna came, only one disciple, only Arjuna he is speaking to. Well, a Buddha came, he spoke to more number of people, but only in one part of the country. A Jesus came, twelve people, one freaked on him, all right? This has been the history of humanity. This is the first time you can sit here and talk to the entire world. When there are tools like this, if we cannot transform humanity now, in this time and age, with the technologies that we have, that means we have no concern for humanity. If we are concerned for humanity, we must put the right things out. We must see what shapes humanity in a positive way towards the well-being of all in an inclusive manner. If we don't do this now with these technologies, it's a clear proof that we have no care or concern for any life on this planet, all right? We might have had many problems till now, but today we have technologies to communicate. We don't even have to knock on their door, we can just go through their window and tell them whatever we want to tell them, wherever they are, all right? When this possibility is there, this is the time to transform. This is the time to plan a transformation of humanity. This is a time to move humanity to a profoundness of human nature. This is the time to do it. So let's do that rather than asking for a prediction, is there hope or no hope? If we are that kind of people who are frivolous, there is no hope anyway. But if we are that kind of people, the tools that we have, we are committed to the well-being of humanity, then definitely it is possible. This generation is more exposed to variety of human beings around the world like never before. This definitely should manifest as a more inclusive society over a period of time, when this excitement about social media and the dating apps and the nonsense is over, this excitement will get over after some time, it's new people are on fire like this. But after that, we will start using social media in a more mature way, which is what we are trying to manifest, that are more mature ways of using this and making the world a far more inclusive place than the way it has been for all this millennia. Definitely, that possibility exists and we must make it happen.